Well, hello, it's Mr. Dale here. And uh, let's just take a few minutes to talk about the grammar that we're going to work on this week. We're going to be looking at the simple present tense, and more specifically, the simple present tense and subject verb agreement. But before we do that, we need to talk about action verbs. And uh, action verbs describe things that you do. Well, what are some action verbs that we can use in our writing? Walk, study, clean, and sleep. And I use the word action verb to help us understand that the other kind of verb is uh, the to be verb. For example, I am happy, uh, which is the to be verb. So when I, when I say the word action verb, I'm actually differentiating between uh, most action words and the to be verb. Okay? Well, let's look at the sentence. They, and we need an action verb here, they walk to their jobs every day. And I got every day here because that really is an important part of present tense. When we start talking about present tense. And the simple present tense describes things that happen every day. Now, we don't really need to say every day. It could be every month or every year or um, even every hour. But it's something that happens regularly. Okay. Uh, so let's look at an example. What are some things that you do every day? Well, I wake up every day or I wake up every morning. I go to school every day or every week. I study and I eat, okay? And, and we're talking simple present tense, which is not, um, for example, I am eating right now. That's a completely different tense. Right now we're talking about the present tense that describes the fact that you might eat every morning. She eats every morning, I eat every morning, I eat lunch, etc. Okay, so they, we need an action verb here, they study every day. Uh, we can put it in formula form, and it's important to see that we have a subject and a predicate or the verb. Now, the subject will come in uh, into more importance in a little bit. But just remember, the subject pronoun is what is doing the action of the sentence. All right? Probably you've heard of the predicate before. It is the verb or the action of the sentence, whereas the subject is what doing the action. Uh, for example, we go to school every day. Okay, go to school every day would be the complete predicate, and we would be the subject. Um, we do need to talk about third person subjects. Uh, the third person subject pronouns are he, she, and it, and these are important subject pronouns. And let's look why. Uh, the third person means that you need to make the verb plural. Let's look at this example. He clean the house. Um, is this correct? Absolutely not. Uh, we need to get that little S in there to make it plural. Now it says he cleans the house. Uh, because we have a third person subject, we need to say he cleans the house. All right, let's look at it in table form, all right? And again, I've got all of these third-person subjects. I kind of read it out, doing red text. And we see that we need to put the S on the verb when we're talking about third-person subjects. And again, this is only in the present tense, something that happens every day. And we're going to do some practice today. We're going to look at it and uh, really make sure that we do well in present tense. Uh, both in positive, negative, and also in questions. So uh, thank you for listening, and we'll get right to work.